So this week, we welcomed the Pope to America for the first time. Now, Pope Francis, who has taken on the name of Francis, he, the, 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 he's taken on the name of Francis, right, the patron saint. Uh, and the ideal who Francis was. Now, Francis was a guy who's known, the, re the first Francis, of being somebody who was for the environment, who was for the poor, who was for helping the animals. And that is who he's taken on, very humble. He's made his way to the United States. Um, and I got to tell you, it's been remarkable to watch. He's been in our nation's capital for a couple days. He's, you know, then he went to New York and then he went to Philadelphia. And the whole ideal behind this pope is an ideal of, he's really bringing the church into the 21st century. I'm not Catholic, but I think it's true. But he's also transformative because he's really taking on the issues that Christians um, should be taking on. How do we solve and help the poor? How do we bring peace to the world? How do we solve issues of immigration? How do we protect our climate? Uh, and this was an interesting quote that he made, and I want to focus the moment on him um, tonight. But he says this, a little bit of mercy makes this world less cold and more just. And I thought when I heard that quote, I'm like, wow, that is such a profound thing. Just a little bit of mercy. And I, I put that into context with what's, what, what's happening across the globe, right? So you take what's happening on the border of Hungary and in Turkey where people are fleeing their homeland because of violence. And then you come back over here to America and you have folks saying, oh, we can't take them in. We won't take them in. We're not going to take in any Muslims. We can't. This is not a, a little bit of mercy would make this world less cold. All those people want is a chance to research the life not in violence, something that we would want ourselves. A little bit of mercy would make them go a long way. Same goes for the home. Like, let's just, that, that's sort of a broader global thing, but you take it to your individual life, what you're dealing with at home, the homeless person on the street who all they want to do is eat tonight and you've ignored them like they're not a real person. You don't know their story. You don't know how they got there. Yeah, it might be drug abuse, yeah, it could be a lot of things, but showing them a little bit of mercy not only makes this world more just, but it makes the world less cold. So in the moment tonight, I want us to think about who this Pope is and what he represents to this world and this country and ask ourselves the following question. Can we show a little bit more mercy to a world that is cold, unfair, and to be honest, unjust. A little bit of mercy. If we all just show a little mercy, we could make America and this world a more fair and just society. That's all we got to do. That's all we have got to do. And it's not big. It's not like, yes, no, we can't solve the, the immigrant crisis today, the people, the, the migrant crisis today. No, we can't make we can't change the hearts and minds of all police officers tomorrow so black men will no longer be slain down by police when they're unarmed. No, we cannot, you know, change all the laws tomorrow to make sure there's never another Charleston or another Sandy Hook. Right? Can't do any of those things individually. But if we can show a little ounce of mercy, right, to your neighbor, to your friend, to somebody who's lost a loved one. Those things are profound. And if we all show a little bit of it, little by little, brick by brick, stone by stone, we can make this country and our world a more just place. Anyway, that clock and all tells you it's time to go. But guess what, folks? You know I love you. But God loves you so much more than I do. Good night from Washington, everybody.